As the housing market continues to climb, so-called prop furniture is returning to form. Looking for an inexpensive way to stage new listings, real estate agents are beginning to consider faux furnishings, like look-but-don't-sit sofas, cardboard bed frames, and fake electronics. Douglas Pinter travels lighter than the average home stager. Instead of a fleet of moving vans, he opts for a couple of nylon bags. That's because Mr. Pinter's entire line of furniture is an illusion. The Noguchi-inspired coffee table, the contemporary white sofa, the posh art pedestal, all are made of the same lightweight material used to make milk cartons. Mr. Pinter recently staged a three-bedroom penthouse on the north end of Central Park in Manhattan. Mr. Pinter and his associate, Michael Smith, squatted down in his spare bedroom and began to bend, crease, and clasp their white polymer panels. Within three hours, the living and dining areas are staged with geometric sofas, full art canvases, and a contemporary white resin sculpture which balances on a fake pedestal. We were asked to come in and to create an environment where people could understand the space. What remains to be seen is whether the trend will continue as the market stabilizes. Traditional staging could cost several thousand dollars for a luxury apartment. Mr. Pinter's company charges about one-third of that price. This New York apartment is expected to hit the market for about two million dollars, but the listing agent says he expects it to sell above asking price. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Stefanos Chen.